In order to make sure you don't miss any of my videos, make sure to scroll down and next to the subscribe button, hit that little bell, and then click send all notifications and save. What's going on guys? I'm Rated D and I tested positive for swag of course. So in this video, I want to talk about the Xbox community here on YouTube and on Twitter of course. I want to address you morons that continue to talk about media bias and the evil Sony Corporation. You guys are the reason the Xbox One is dead right now. The, not just the Xbox One, you clowns here on YouTube and Twitter that support everything Microsoft does regardless, you are the reason why the Xbox brand is dead, not just the one. You guys are the ones that defend it always online. You guys are the ones that always defended having Kinect being on at all times, which is creepy by the way. And you guys are the ones that defended not having options by saying that it's okay that Microsoft bumped the price up for the Xbox One because they want to bundle Kinect in with every system. You all defended that. And you guys are also the ones that defended the milking of Halo, Gears, and Forza. You did that. So now when Xbox fanboys don't want to buy anything other than Halo, Gears, and Forza, there's no one to blame but you. Nobody to blame but you. Now, when Insomniac puts a new game out on Xbox One exclusively, Sunset Overdrive, Xbox fanboys say, oh, well, crap, Gamer used to make fun of Ratchet and Clank and Resistance. I'm not going to buy Insomniac's game because it's obviously garbage. That's why there's no Sunset Overdrive 2. When Xbox fanboys hear crap, Gamer and Moose say that Uncharted is a movie. It's not a real game. So why should I buy Quantum Break? Oh, and Crap Gamer also said he won't buy it because it's also coming to PC now. I'm not going to buy Quantum Break. That's what the Xbox fanboys say when they hear these people on YouTube. That's what happens. When the Xbox fanboys see a game like ReCore, oh, it looks like Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank. And it's not as good either. I'm not going to buy that. That's why these games don't sell well. What about Rise? Oh, good graphics, not enough gameplay? Gee, seems like the Order 1886. I'm not going to buy that. And that's exactly what happened with Rise as well. That's why the Xbox brand is dead. It's because of you guys brainwashing young, impressionable Xbox fans. And quite frankly, it's sad. It really is sad. Now what's going on with the Xbox brand? They're going for a, you know, service-based games is what they're going for now, like Minecraft. And if Sea of Thieves flops, Microsoft has poured so much money into it, it's not going to be pretty. Insiders are already talking about this. And these same insiders hoped that the Xbox brand would do well. And now they're saying that they're worried. And it's largely because of you guys here on YouTube and Twitter defending everything Microsoft does. Maybe you should have said that Microsoft should be more like Sony and Nintendo with these games. Instead of saying, oh, and how about another thing? Look at what Nintendo's doing. Brilliant move by Nintendo with the pricing for the online. 20 bucks per year. Brilliant pricing. I, when I get a Switch, am not going to feel bad about having to pay 20 bucks uh, to, pay, to play Splatoon online. Whereas, I wouldn't want to pay 60 bucks a year to play Halo online. You know, Nintendo sees, Nintendo's smart. You see what they're doing here? Nintendo knows that they're, most people are like me. They pay for PlayStation Plus and they don't really want to pay for Xbox Live. So what Nintendo's doing, they're severely slashing the price for online. They still need people to pay for online because you know, the, the service this and that needs to stay up and it needs to be, you know, secure and all that. But they don't want to raise the price a lot because they know in order to get customers, they need to have a small price, you know, low price, whatever. Microsoft doesn't realize that. The PS4 has sold over twice as many consoles as the Xbox One, and Microsoft still forces you to pay 60 bucks a year for online. It's utterly shameful. So it's because of you guys here on YouTube and Twitter, and let's not forget Tim Dog going about stalking people. When the average person sees that, what do they think? Do I want to be a member of the Xbox community? Going about stalking people? And then you have, what's his name, Mooch? Going about harassing a kid at Best Buy? Just because he wanted to buy a PS4 instead of an Xbox. 
You guys here on YouTube and Twitter are the reason why the Xbox brand is dead. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Yeah, <laughs> you, you really should be. Guess what? <laughs> 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 you didn't do nothing! <laughs>